While every step of the painting process is important, how you roll has one of the biggest impacts on the finished product's look and how long the job will take. In this video, we will show you the proper way to roll paint on a wall and get the best results possible. The first step to rolling your paint is picking a good quality roller cover. Make sure to get a shed resistant roller cover so that you don't end up with bits of lint on your paint and your wall. For a smooth surface like a painted drywall, you should use either a 3 8 or half inch nap roller cover. If you're painting something rough like brick or stucco, using a 3 quarter inch roller cover or higher would be best. Check out our video about roller covers if you want to learn more about the different options available. After you've prepped your wall, make sure to cut in before you roll for best results. Go ahead and pour your paint into a pan suited for the size roller you are going to be using. Make sure to pour plenty of paint since the roller will soak up more than you might expect. Before the first time you dip the roller into the paint, you can prime it by rubbing just a little bit of water onto the roller cover. This will help the roller pick up and absorb the paint better. Dip the roller several times so that the roller is entirely covered and has soaked in as much as it can. After each time you dip the cover, roll it onto the pan to make sure the paint penetrates into the cover. Once you have enough paint on your roller, start rolling the paint onto the wall. Start in the middle of the wall and then paint a strip about 12 inches wide and, and the whole height of the wall. As you roll, make sure you are putting enough paint on and dip your roller regularly. One way that you can tell if you aren't putting enough paint on is if the roller starts to sound more dry or sticky as it's rolling. As you roll, it should sound more wet and smooth. Another tip is to check your paint can to see how much square footage it should cover. You can then compare that to how much wall space you have to help you know how far your paint really should go as you can gauge if you're applying the paint heavily enough. After you've rolled a strip the entire height of the wall, dip your roller again, and then start rolling a few inches to the side of where you painted before. Once you start rolling, you should then roll back into the strip that you painted before to help blend the paint together. Starting away from your previous paint and then blending in will help reduce lines in the paint that can be seen after it dries. Continue this process rolling a bit away from your last line and then blending it in until you reach the end of the wall. Make sure that as you get further down the wall, you don't go too far back to roll over what has already been rolled, even if there's a spot that you missed. Doing this can cause the paint to flash and make the finish uneven. So you're better off waiting and hitting any spots you miss during the second coat. If you do think you're going to need to paint a second coat, you can put your roller and your roller cover in the pan, paint and all and cover it with a damp cloth or some plastic. This will help keep the paint and roller cover from drying out so that you can come back and paint your second coat. Storing your cover and paint like this can keep them usable for up to a day depending on the ambient temperature. A final tip is to make sure that you only cut in and paint one wall at a time. If you cut in too far ahead of where you are rolling, then the paint will dry and when you roll into it, you will see a difference between where you cut in and where you rolled. One last thing to remember is that no matter how well you roll your paint, your finish will only be as good as the products that you use. Check out some of our other videos to see what paint and other products will be good for your project. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, feel free to comment below and let us know of any how-to videos you would like us to make. Into into. I've totally lost where I am. <laughs> if you do think you're going to need a paint, need a paint? <laughs> of course you're going to need paint. You're painting a wall.